Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. Today is day two of the mega build. Uh, day one uh, pro progressed much quicker than I expected. Uh, day two will probably, there'll be a slight slowdown because the carpenter's not here today. However, there will be two carpenters here tomorrow. So I expect tomorrow will be the big day where we can see a big difference. The Pollock Pros are already here. They're currently outside um, working and I will, uh, I'll take you to go speak to them in a minute. For those of you that didn't see my last video, I am building a small scale 4,000 litre coral farm in, um, in the UK. Now the whole purpose of this build is to try to make sure, make, make sure everything is as simple as possible because I, um, I already at the moment I have a full-time job and I will be hopefully turning this into my full-time job uh, but during that transi transition period I need to make this um, yeah, I need to make this as smooth as possible as it will just be me running it. See, there's not, there's not a big update today uh, at the beginning because obviously a lot of it was shown last time. Uh, what I, the, the one thing I would like to say is I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone uh, that uh, subscribed to the channel uh, either before or obviously after the last week's video because there was a huge influx of subscribers. I got to probably twice as many as usual um, to, so that I could hit the 40,000 subscriber mark. Uh, which obviously we did, so thank you for that. Uh, I mean, if you want to help me get to the 50,000 subscribe mark, you can keep subscribing if you want. Um, obviously, just click the subscribe button, click the the bell icon for notifications, um, and if you enjoy the video, click the like button. And uh, and yeah, so let me take you to go to go meet the Pollock Pros and uh, and see what their plans are for today. One other thing to mention before I take you outside, uh, a lot of people are asking for an update on the Red Sea tank and if I still got it. Uh, of course, of course I've still got it. Um, I will give you an update on it next week. It's quite a big update. I think there's three fish in there you've not seen before um, and, uh, and a couple of other things. So, uh, but I want to do it all in one go rather than give you an update now. And, um, and yeah, so yeah, it's just to, to like clarify, I've still got it, uh, I'm still enjoying it. So I will give you an update on that probably next week. Right, so uh, this is uh, this is James. Hello. Uh, you obviously saw him in the last video, and this is Dave. Yeah, nice. uh, their company is the Pollock Pros. Yes. Um, I obviously want to help them out, so go and uh, check out their website. I'll put a link in the description box below again. Um, but yeah, James, if you could run me through what you're planning to get done today. Yeah. Um, and uh, I can see you've already done quite a lot already compared yeah. to last time. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah. No, we're getting there. So uh, at the moment, we're trying to install the second sump. Uh, so the second sump is to be attached into the sump that we did before. Um, the idea of this is this is the sump that water will always go through. Um, and then this sump is one that will be isolated and used as a mixing tank for water change purposes. Um, so it goes through these three two inch pipes. Um, because there's going to be obviously quite a lot of flow going through the system. There's uh, 22,000 litres now, I believe, uh, roughly. That's um, from the, um, the two Vectra L2s, it isn't is, it? Yeah, yeah, it is indeed. Uh, so the idea is that it can cope gravity fed uh, into this tank. Um, and yeah, so our plan today is to try and get these all laid out uh, and then just before the stands hopefully get built tomorrow. And what are the three isolation things, or four isolation things for? Yeah, uh, so... The idea is that you open this bypass valve first, so it will bypass and then go to the two pumps which are over there. And then the isolation ones, you close all four of these, um, and then that tank is then not part of the system anymore. Oh, so there's three, it's the amount of water you can get through, it's not, yes. not that each isolation valve does something specific? No, 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 it's just, it has to be three because to the maximize amount of water, flow yeah. that goes through from previous experience, uh, it's better to have three there. Um, we tried it with two once, but it still had different water heights. Which okay, brilliant. And the other thing you're going to try and get done is the RO unit and the RO barrel, which is not here at the moment, but hopefully by the end oh, yeah. of the day, some of that will be in. Oh, and there's one other thing that I wanted to, to show you as well. What's this? Uh, so we've uh, three printed a pipe clip. Uh, and I know someone was uh, before saying how we were going to uh, attach it. But it's basically a clip which rests onto the fish tank um, and then it just, the pipe slots nicely into those two areas. Um, yeah, it's something we had in the works. Obviously we didn't get around to doing it last time. Um, obviously nothing's complete as of yet until it's all sold and welded together. But we're getting there, we're getting there. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's moving along It's moving along much quicker than I expected it to, if I'm honest. <laughs> and, uh, and Dave, you got anything to say? I thought I'd put you on camera, I'd put you on spot. <laughs> I have got nothing to say. 
Yeah, you have nothing to say. Other than let's just crack on. Crack on. Okay, I'll leave you alone. So, thank you very much. Cool. Perfect. Things have been going pretty smoothly so far. However, unfortunately, I have just um, discovered the first issue that we need to face. Uh, basically, I ordered a hole saw uh, to drill into the bottom of the um, uh, RO container, and uh, the connection on the bottom doesn't fit. So um, we need to find, and that needs to go in today, so that the carbons can do their work tomorrow, which means I need to find one somewhere today. Hey, as I just noticed, is that for the first time, like in a long, long time, I had a proper shave where I've got basically no beard, and I am so white that when I stand up against the walls, I'm basically camouflaged. So now you know why I have always have like you know that homeless look. It's so that when I'm in my own house, people <laughs> people can see me. Let's see what I can go do about the, uh, about the whole saw. I've got an idea. All right, so there's one person I can always rely on if, uh, if ever there's an issue. And um, you've, you've definitely met him before. So, uh, oh, oh, look at him. <laughs> so, one second. Yeah, <laughs> nice hair. <laughs> one sec. So, uh, you, yeah, you'll recognize him. Tim! <laughs> I'm not, I'm filming for the video. <laughs> so. No, no, I'm filming the video, so, um, but yes, so what, uh, we've come to pick up a 63 mil saw, yeah, so. Uh, did you say 64? 63, oh, it's roughly that, I, yeah, roughly, it'll fit. This is, uh, oh, look, Tim's, Tim's built himself a new coral farm. Let's, let's have a quick look. That's workshop. Oh, this is just a workshop. That's workshop. If you let me go in, I'll have a quick look. Oh, I've not, I haven't been here a long time. Oh, this is fancy. I should have bought my orange filter and then you would have been able to see it, but unfortunately not. So we're back from Tim's um, and with the, uh, the drill bit. So this, yes. is, this is what we need it for. We need it for this connection. Um, and can you, can you tell everyone what this connection is actually for? Uh, so as this water from here, from the last video, uh, this all drains down through gravity. So the hole is at the bottom. Uh, so the idea is that when the valve is opened on either system, um, the water will uh, just naturally flow through the pipe. So what we've done is we've put a socket union on. Uh, so the idea of this is that if it ever needs maintaining or if it starts leaking for any random reason um, or there's a hole that gets punctured, this can actually all be taken out by unthreading that and then it can just be lifted out of place and taken away and replaced if necessary. Um, so this is one of those added extra things that you yes. put in to, for, uh, <laughs> to make life easier eventually. One of the fail saves. Yeah. yeah. So you really have thought of everything. Oh yes, uh, through numerous amounts of experiences. <laughs> so. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Well, I look forward to seeing what else uh, you have. Uh, what else you have planned? <laughs> of course. We need to check, drill some extra holes into the filter sock sumps. Um, I don't want to mess around because obviously this is probably the most date like risky part of the build so far so that's why i thought i talked to you while i'm inside and then i can show you what they're doing but they're drilling into the acrylic um so uh this is the only bit so far which i've been nervous about but i'm not going to speak while i'm out there because i don't want to distract them Just so everyone knows, James might have designed the system, but this piece of engineering, genius piece of engineering, the pipe that the water's running to came from me. That's my contribution for the build. A little trick I've learned is it's really, really important to keep people motivated. And the best way to keep people motivated is uh, keeping them wired on coffee and high on sugar. Now, the uh, obviously I popped out just to buy these quickly, uh, but something I do want to say, and they won't know I'm saying this, is that they have done an absolutely brilliant job. They won't see this until obviously I put the video up, but it's like there's no problems, nothing, nothing too too difficult. They anything that needs to be corrected or anything like that, they will just 3D print. And um, I just, uh, if as many of you can go to their um, their Facebook page, the Pollock Pros, and obviously like their stuff and go to their website, there, there might be stuff on there for you. There's definitely stuff I'll be, there, be buying from them, but they. Um, they're obviously trying to start, like properly start a company and uh, anything I can do to help them just as they've helped me, I'd love to do. 
So yeah, if you could do that for me, that'd be brilliant. I thought rather than ask James to go through everything that's been done today, um, it's been quite a long day. So, and there isn't actually a lot more to show you really visually. Uh, I know a lot of the stuff behind the scenes was done, a lot more stuff behind the scenes. So, um, but tomorrow is the big day because I've got two carpenters here tomorrow, whereas before we only had one. So hopefully tomorrow, I will be able to show you the stands of at least one system with the tanks on it, uh, which can then obviously start being plumbed in. There's only one other unusual thing to show you, and that's because I asked for a tap to go on this so that I can fill up 25 litre canisters uh, for the RO for the, uh, the Red Sea tank. Um, there was no access, uh, obviously, from, from this side to put a tap in. Um, so I, so James has plumbed in from underneath and uh, eventually, no one saw that. Shh, don't tell him. <laughs> Anyway, eventually that's, <laughs> eventually that's going to be plumbed in uh, from underneath, so and it will obviously be secured. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy watching the video. Please feel free to comment below if uh, you have any questions. If you did enjoy it, why not click that like button, subscribe to the channel. Obviously, I've had so many more subscribers recently that you seem to be thoroughly enjoying this, so I'm going to try and put out more uh, more content on the uh, the 4,000 litre um, system build and. Uh, and yeah, and obviously thank you very much for all my patrons. Um, like it was, you're, you're the ones that are helping me make this happen. So um, yeah, have a good week and I will, uh, I'll see you next time.